What has America become? A land where elected and appointed officials conspire to commit criminal acts which encroach upon the very foundations of democracy. A land where the elderly and poor are cast aside and left defenseless and without essentials of life. A land where kidnapping, terrorism, fear, and crime must fill the headlines day after day. A land where inflation has turned necessities into luxuries. This is not America, but this is what America has become. It is obvious that part of the job of this generation of politicians must be to effectively excise the cancer that has seized this nation. But more than that, we must seek to heal the patient by bringing Americans together around a rededication to the principles for which we once stood, honesty, decency, freedom, and responsible leadership. If the American government is to be effective mirror of its people, then it must elect these most like themselves. If the dreams of the past don't seem to work today, perhaps it is because we lost sight of the creative spark that turns dreams into realities. Such a spark created this nation. Such a spark produced its power and greatness, and such a spark will create its future. And that spark is us. What I'm for is an end to government mismanagement and neglect, fighting inflation by lowering payroll taxes and closing tax loopholes, strict enforcement of antitrust laws to prevent price rigging and loss of competition in the business community, tax reform to repeal the oil depletion allowance, also to guarantee that wealthy individuals and corporations pay their fair share of taxes, a national health insurance program to protect us from skyrocketing medical costs, a cost of living increase in Social Security for the elderly struggling to survive on fixed incomes, increased educational and job training programs for our veterans, increased employment through research and development for alternative sources of energy. Solar energy is the power of the future, and this could help make project independence become a reality. An immediate end to wasteful foreign aid programs, especially when the money is used to promote wars that could be more effectively used here at home to create jobs. Campaign reform, the elimination of the party lever, direct primaries, full financial disclosure, strict limits on spending, open and accessible government. Make it happen. It's up to you. Now ask yourself if what I just read to you is what is going on today. That was my campaign for two years before the bicentennial. So when I ask you to join my electoral revolution and enfranchise yourself by not voting for either party, because that literally throws away your vote, that's what I mean. So please join my electoral revolution.